Hey y'all, Grim Rising, good afternoon and good evening. Whatever time you click on this video is the right time for you. And I thank you in advance for your viewership and support. So I wanted to tap into the energy around Megan Thee Stallion and how she feels about the paperwork that was a um, released yesterday, the PDFs rather, from Unite the People on behalf of Daystar Peterson, better known to the world as Tory Lanez. It's going to be a very, very interesting turn of events over the next few months, all the way into the beginning of the year. So I wanted to get off into what this is going to be like for her and the feelings around how she felt when the news hit the Associated Press and the internet that the AG is going to allow the motion for A Star Peterson to be heard before the appellate court. Now that motion does not mean that he is automatically being set free. It means that he has the right to go before the court, make a petition before that court, but it still depends on what the response is from the DA and then that has to go in to the appellate court as well. And then the judge over the appellate court is the one who's going to make the final decision if this case is worthy of being heard and retried or if it should stay the way that it is. So I had to get that out the way because a lot of people don't know what the paperwork uh, says or they just haven't had a chance to read it yet. So I would suggest that everyone, whenever you have a free moment, read over the documents for yourself and don't be afraid to ask questions. You're not a lawyer. This isn't what you studied and went to school for. So if you don't understand, that's fine. Um, that's pretty much the breakdown that I can give. The AG over the state of California is allowing Daystar Peterson, better known to the world as Tory Lane's permission to approach the appellate court to make a petition to the court so that the court can make a decision on if his case is worthy of being reheard and if it is, here are the guidelines in which we ask. These things here are all erroneous and these things haven't been done properly by the state of California. So it's just simply his lawyers asking the appellate court to uphold the law and the statutes of the court and to hear his case in a sound legal way. That's it and that's all. It hasn't, you know, guaranteed him freedom as of yet. This still has to go before another judge so that that judge can make a decision. That's where we are. So if someone can be so kind as to timestamp this video for the four minute and 15 second mark. I greatly appreciate you. I just had to get that out of the way so people could understand what's going on because a lot of people thought that because it was granted, it means that the AG is saying he's innocent and he can come home. No, Tori is the one who was making the claim of innocence and the AG gave him permission to go before the appellate court and to challenge the appellate court due to all of the things that he has put together showing where he feels that legally he can prove his innocence. All righty, 
show me the energy around Meg and how she feels now that this petition has been granted. Show me how she feels now that this motion has been granted. Mm, she's clamming up. So we're looking at temperance. She's looking at how this is going to bring balance through a new beginning. And temperance means that something has to happen for there to be a new beginning. A new action has to be taken. So she realizes that no matter what, this whole situation is about to transform. And it's putting a lot of weight on her. Ten of Wands. It has her feeling like the weight of the world is on her shoulder. This is a weight that's so heavy that it's unsurmountable. She's not feeling like she's able to carry this weight. She has concerns about her financial stability and just um, the status of her life in general because of this situation. Oh, wow. So you've got the two of swords here, but it came out in reverse. So this two of swords in reverse and the court, okay? The Hierophant represents um, institutions. This represents judges. This represents, you know, people who run things in very, very high authority. So if this is a judge, this is like going before a higher district uh, type of judge. This would be like going before a federal court or going before, you know, um, a Supreme Court. And being that this two of sorts is in reverse, it means that he's not being denied the access to go before the court. So she never thought that this day was coming. And here it is, the world. It, it's gonna be the end of a cycle. It's gonna close a cycle to some, oh wow, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Underhanded behavior, some sneaky behavior, some backdoor type energy. And it's like, you know, she feels very, very heartbroken, um, obsessive even about this situation. She feels betrayed. Ten of Swords. Why does she feel betrayed? Okay, that's a lot. Let me reshuffle. Hold on. Why does she feel betrayed? Why does she feel betrayed? Why does she feel betrayed? Ace of Cups falling under the temperance. So Ace of Cups represents love and abundance. It represents, you know, um, vitality. And also when you think about things coming into fruition, because usually with the Ace of Cups, you have fish and water, which speaks about fertility. So I'm not necessarily seeing this as fertility for, you know, her to have a child, you know, start a family. This is more so about her ability to bring things into fruition for her career and to create opportunities for herself in business. Um, it's like I finally got to where I needed to be. And now it's like the other shoe is dropping. Tell me about this 10 of wands. What is it with these heavy burdens? Two of Cups. So Two of Cups falling under the Ten of Wands. This is like, this is going to bring a heavy burden to her relationship. So it feels like allegedly she's in the energy she was in with party all over again, just with 
the new Tory. Now, remember I was mentioning fertility and the Empress, and boom, here we go. The Empress here at the bottom of the deck. King of Wands. Now, King of Wands represents a fire sign, but this King of Wands is falling under the Four of Pentacles. And I want y'all to pay attention to this Four of Pentacles here, okay? This man, he's handing a pentacle while keeping his hands on the other three. So she's going to find out that all that glitters is not gold, um, which she thought she was supposed to receive that was going to help bring balance to her career is actually going to be costing her way more than what she thought um, she was going to make. There's something going on here with uh, finances and business. And she's, she's really concerned because six of uh, swords, you know, she thought she had got away from this situation. She had escaped a toxic, chaotic situation. But now you have the six of swords falling under the two of swords in reverse, which is like not being able to release this situation, not being able to get away from this situation, but finally coming to terms with the idea that... Um, Tori actually could be coming home after she thought this cycle was over the, the world. And the lovers doesn't just represent lovers. It represents choices and, you know, the decisions that you make. But she is really, really concerned about how this is going to affect her current relationship because it can bring an end to this relationship the same way that it did between her and party. And this has her in heartbreak because it's like, I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to lose my relationship if and when new things come out in court. Mm. If and when new things come out in court, Okay, the high priestess falling under the devil. So it's like, um, that goes two ways. That's, you know, some very maleficent, toxic energy that was hid. And also being very, very obsessed about what it is that she has no um, access to. Uh, the information that has not been released yet. She's worried about what can come to fruition, what this situation can actually give birth to. And it, you know, next card is the Ten of Swords, Betrayal. And here we go with Heartbreak. So she's taking this heart, um, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Emperor also is, you know, someone who can sow the seed to bring things into fruition to help um, create things and it's like this emperor had um, a, a major hand in giving her balance through a new beginning and you know helping to put her into a, a life that she loves it's like I'm finally where I want to be okay and here it is, the Empress. I'm finally where I want to be. You know, I'm able to give birth to the type of career, the projects that I want. But you got the Page of Cups here at the bottom of the deck that represents sorrow. Why is there sorrow? Justice. Balance coming through court, falling under the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Um, it feels like she thinks that this is a burden, you know, not just legally because of this case and 
things going on. She feels like this is also a hindrance to her getting married. So I don't know if her and the new Tory have already been talking about getting married or been thinking about engagement, but this definitely feels like finally I'm with the right person and here this energy comes again. And she just feels like she can't escape it, but she knows that other shoe is going to drop. Tell me more. Yeah. That card of sorrow. It falls under the king of wands and the four of pentacles. So I want you all to understand that she has two very prominent king of wands that are in her life. Jay-Z and Tori. Okay. Um, so this, this four of pentacles here, which represents, you know, building things stability financial stability career stability having stability for you know four generations in your family having a level of comfort this is coming through you know the opportunities that are allotted from this career and she's worried about these opportunities drying up and it's like she's more so apologetic to jay-z than i see her apologetic to anyone else because it's like eight of wands at the bottom of the deck this came in swift and fast this came out of nowhere as far as she's concerned and she just she just wants to get away from this whole entire situation but it's like she can't outrun it She keeps trying to find new projects, new ventures, new things to do to keep her mind busy. But she knows eventually there are some things that she's done, some decisions that she's made that is going to bring everything crashing down. It's going to be the end of a cycle for her, the world over the lovers. And part of that, you know, like I said, she's worried about how this is going to affect this relationship. If, if this relationship is going to come to an end because of this. King of Pentacles. Now, King of Pentacles represents a very dependable man. A man who is a caretaker. A man who is a, you know, very, very good provider. He's a solid individual. This is someone that, you know, is a great father, a great husband. And then here's this message, the Knight of Swords coming right up under the devil and the high priestess. So she feels like, you know, there's a lot of things that can be considered as toxic that she's really just, it, it gives me the energy of trying to re in, reinvent yourself while trying to escape yourself. So it's like she's trying to get away from what was once her life to the life that she wants to live and she's not able to outrun this toxic energy. And that's what this tower is. And see, this tower came out of nowhere and it knocked everything down. Look at that, right up under the tower, Queen of Swords, which represents her, the person. Um, Ace of Wands. Yeah, them moving forward with being progressive with this case is going to release even more salacious information that has to do with her um, off-the-record adult activities, so to say, allegedly. So this is heartbreaking to her, and this is another betrayal as far as she's concerned because she's back to the basics of where she was with her and Party, where information came out and it changed the whole entire direction of their relationship and she feels like it's a never-ending cycle this is going to happen again i'm going to lose my man um i think 
the weirdest part of it all is that she's, I, I see more than anything, she's worried about losing the relationship more than she's thinking about how this will impact her overall life. Because it's like Ten of Pentacles. Like, this is a really great guy. He's a nice guy for sure. He, he definitely gives me husband material. And she's going to have to be careful because this is looking like, you know, she's trapped in her thoughts. She's trapped in some type of situation, something that could possibly allegedly put her in jail. And it's a situation of her own control, something that she manifested herself by being underhanded, Seven of Swords. This is like the third time that I've seen that she could possibly go to jail. So she's definitely got to be careful with um, how she moves around for sure. Yeah, she's Four of Cups. This information coming forward about, you know, um, the the new updates with um, the legal proceedings is definitely an unrequited offer for Megan. This is, whoever is close to her, they're going to have to really, 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 you know, keep an eye on her because I don't see her being able to move around in this type of energy without having to go through a very, very hard time mentally and emotionally, okay? So King of Swords. King of Swords represents legal law enforcement. And also, you know, um, when you're talking about the public, once information, certain information comes out to the public, people are going to be very, very unapologetic and cutthroat. They're going to want the facts. They're, they're not going to care about feelings and emotions and anything like that. People are really going to want the bottom line, which is give us the information. Everything else can get sorted out on the back end. So you've got the Knight of Cups here under the uh, Page of Cups, which is letting me know that there has been opportunities for her to, it's like it's, it's, it's been possible, it's, it's opportunities for her to come forward and share information and she's not going to be allowed that anymore now that this is going back to court. So just imagine, okay, five years later, something that you thought was completely over, you thought it was done, you thought it was buried, and not only does it come back, it comes back in a major way, in a public way, and you have to be prepared for the other side of this situation when the shoe drops. Because now she knows that this the things are moving forward, it's proceeding. She, like I said, she can't escape this. She can't outrun it. And this is like getting a win through deceit. The wheel with the seven of swords. So next row is the world, the lovers, and you know that king of coins. This is this is possibly how she's going to lose the other Tory. Queen of Swords. He he's gonna want to demand the truth. Like, listen, I don't care what you tell everybody else. I need you to talk to me about what happened because I, I get the energy that he wants to marry her. So he wants to put everything out on the table. So yeah, this is reminiscent of her and party all over again, because at this point in time, party was looking towards preparing himself to marry her. And then soon as he got ready to make that leap of faith, 
the whole thing come, it, it came crashing down. It was the end of a cycle due to all the toxic information that was withheld in secret that ended up coming out in court. So yeah, I get why it feels like the a repeated cycle all over again. Yeah. Allegedly, it looks like he's going to leave once once the word gets out on what actually happened in this situation. He's going to leave. And here it is, the Hierophant, which represents the, the highest judge and jury of the land. Ace of Swords, the truth comes out through lawyers, legal team. So I'm going to end this here. And this is my energetic tap-in on the energy around how Megan Thee Stallion feels now that Tory Lanez, well, Daystar Peterson, better known to the world as Tory Lanez, has received permission to approach the appellate court and petition for the opportunity for his case to be reheard. Case hasn't been reheard yet. We have to wait for the DA to respond. The DA has up to two weeks to respond. And as soon as the DA responds, then a court date will be set with the appellate court to hear both sides of this case. And the appellate court will make the decision of where it goes from here. So I thank everybody for your viewership and support. And this reading is adjourned. Talk to y'all soon.